Congratulations, Hawkeyes, and welcome to the University of Iowa's 2021 Spring Commencement. Obviously, we're recognizing your commencement in a unique way, but even though our entire celebration is virtual, our pride in your accomplishments remains as strong and bright as at any Iowa commencement. In fact, you're a very special class of Iowa graduates, having finished your studies during a global pandemic unprecedented in our lifetime. Throughout it, you showed commitment and resilience in completing your degrees, and you set a great example for our entire campus. As always, we stand together together as Hawkeyes with strength, purpose, and pride. Today, many of you are gathering either in person or virtually with your loved ones. And any commencement is also a recognition of a team effort. So today, we also thank and recognize the family members, friends, teachers, mentors, and so many others who have added their support and their love to get you here to where you are today. I'd like to just take a moment and have you reflect on all the help that they have provided. Because I want you later in your life to think back on this moment and think back on all those loved ones who got you here. Pay it back. In the future, remember all the support they gave you and return the favor to some other person who needs it in their lives. Soon you will be moving on to new phases of your own lives whether it be professional or personal or community and maybe even educational. But know that you've been a very central part of our community. You've added your excellence to this entire university while studying here, and you've contributed to our campus and larger community in so many ways. And looking forward, we are grateful that your future accomplishments will always be part of our proud Iowa legacy. We know that you will represent yourself, your university, and your profession with honor and integrity. And we know that you will make people's lives so much better through your talent, your compassion, and your newly minted knowledge and skills. Even though the years ahead promise major changes for you, please know that the University of Iowa will always be here and welcoming for you to come back to our campus. As alumni, you will always be part of who we are, who we have been, and who we will become. Once again, congratulations, good luck, and best wishes for great success in the wonderful years ahead of you. We are very, very proud of you. And remember, as we like to say around here, once a Hawkeye, always a Hawkeye. Go Hawks. Welcome graduating students, family, and friends. I am honored to join President Harold in bringing you greetings and heartfelt congratulations from the University of Iowa on this very special occasion. There is no question this is a very different graduation day than the one you have probably imagined many times over the years. But even though we're at a distance from each other, you can be sure that today you are surrounded by the joy and the very best wishes of your peers, family, and friends, as well as the many faculty and staff who have been your teachers, coaches, and mentors, and who are all so very proud of you. It's been a real privilege to work with you and to watch what you have achieved along the way. As proud as your family and friends are at this moment, you should know that this is also one of the proudest moments in the life of your college and the University of Iowa. This is what we work so hard for, to see our students achieve their goals. Even better is knowing how very well prepared you are to transition into the next stage of your professional or academic life, wherever your path may take you. You've worked with excellent faculty and mentors, received the highest quality education, and met rigorous academic standards. You've built powerful knowledge and skills while demonstrating the talent and drive it takes to succeed as a student at Iowa. As if that weren't enough, this graduating class has faced unprecedented challenges that tested your determination and your resilience, and you came through it with flying colors. When you put all of those qualities and experiences together, knowing that you are going to be putting those strengths into the service of your professions and your communities, it's exciting to think about what a difference you will make. You will be innovators in a time of change, leaders in your field, and champions of social justice. You will continue to learn and discover and create. You'll be a positive force in the lives of others. And through it all, you will be carrying on the proud tradition of the Hawkeyes that came before you. 
I know you will continue to make us proud, just as you have always been proud to have graduated from this great university. The University of Iowa community joins me in wishing you the very best success. Welcome to the May 2021 College of Nursing Commencement Ceremony. I am Julie Zerwick, Dean of the College of Nursing. I first want to congratulate the graduates of our BSN program and our RN to BSN program and extend an especially warm welcome to the friends and family of our graduates. We are so pleased to have you with us as we bear witness to the significant accomplishment of our graduates. We are privileged and grateful to have been a part of your graduates' life for the past few years. The entire university community shares in your pride and happiness on this very special day. Graduates, family, and friends, when we welcomed you to the College of Nursing, we would never have conceived of holding a virtual ceremony for your commencement. However, we have experienced a very challenging time. I first want to express my concern for our students, family, and colleagues who have been personally impacted by COVID-19. Now, I would like to share my thoughts as you have reached a very important goal in your lives. You have earned a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. At each commencement, I pick a book to inspire my remarks. Last year, I was reading a book called Extraordinary Nurses Throughout History because the World Health Organization had designated 2020 the year of the nurse. This year, my daughter brought up a stack of the books that she had on her bookshelf, and we landed on Lewis Carroll's Alice Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. These two stories are full of symbolism that we could use to think about your time here at the University of Iowa, as well as your future journey in your career. For some of you, it was just four years ago as you contemplated your high school graduation and then your journey to the University of Iowa. For others, you started your journey at a community college and then decided to pursue a baccalaureate degree. I am sure it felt like you were going down the rabbit hole. That rabbit hole symbolizes curiosity and journeys into the unknown, adventures, challenges, failures, and ultimately triumphs. Alice searching for the white rabbit is often seen as a quest for knowledge. Sometimes I am sure you felt like you had lost your way, but you were surrounded by those who helped point you in the direction you needed to go. You have been searching for your knowledge of how to become or advance as a nurse, how to provide care in a very complex and changing environment, and you have succeeded. The general public has always expressed great trust in nurses but I believe they have had little understanding of what we do every day when we enter hospitals, long-term care facilities, public health agencies, prisons, schools, and industries. However, the images that show nurses working today will forever underscore our commitment, compassion, intelligence, ingenuity, and true grit. Because what sets you apart from everyone else is that you are and will always be an Iowa nurse. You are surrounded today by your classmates, faculty, and staff, and importantly, your family and friends. We want to encourage you to continue to travel down that rabbit hole, seeking new knowledge and having further adventures. But realize that wherever you travel, we want you to always come home to the University of Iowa. Congratulations. It is now my special pleasure to introduce Christopher Newman, who will be speaking on behalf of the May 2021 BSN class. Christopher graduated high school in June 2017 from Benet Academy in Lyle, Illinois. While at the College of Nursing, Christopher has worked as a certified nursing assistant, both on the memory unit at King Ruart 
House in Burr Ridge, Illinois, and in the Burn and Trauma Center at the University of Iowa Hospital and Clinics. Throughout his extracurricular activities and employment, he has demonstrated a commitment to serving others. This past summer, Christopher also completed the Summer 10 Nursing Internship at University of Iowa Hospital and Clinics. Upon graduation, Christopher is excited to share that he will be returning to the Burn and Trauma Center at University of Iowa Hospital and Clinics as a registered nurse. In the future, he plans to go to graduate school and earn his doctorate of nursing practice. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our BSN class speaker, Christopher Newman. Good morning. I'd like to start off with thanking the faculty and staff of the College of Nursing, my fellow classmates for giving me the honor of speaking today, my parents for supporting me both emotionally and financially, and as well my three older brothers, Tim, Joe, and Josh. We've been in competition our entire lives, and I'm pretty sure this puts me in first place. It was a good effort, guys. Better luck next time. When I first found out that I was chosen to speak at my college graduation, the first thing I felt was excitement, followed by severe nausea. My hands started shaking and my legs went numb. For those of you that don't know, public speaking is absolutely one of my biggest fears, so the fact that this is pre-recorded is a lifesaver for me. Once the nausea went away and I could feel my legs again, a great sense of pride came over me because I realized that it had become my job to sum up the past four semesters of nursing school in a simple speech. There's so many things I could talk about, given that so much has happened over the years. The late nights studying, the early mornings where I'd wake up thinking, Mama Mia, here we go again. My med surge rotation group, the people that shared their study guides, online clinicals thanks to COVID, the stress of having a pharmacology, pathophysiology, and a health assessment exam all in one week, our pharmacology paper that gave me a heart attack when Saida told us how we all did on them, the IPE meetings we had, and so many ATI tests, which made us, well, at least me, feel like maybe nursing wasn't the best choice. Or the late night talks in our group chat where I think one time someone sent a picture of spilled pasta roni on the ground, and then they continued to talk way too much. I don't remember who that was exactly, but I'm sure he's doing just fine right now. What I really want to talk about is all of you. In that first semester of nursing school, I thought I was coming in with a leg up since I had been a CNA for a couple of years, but right away I realized I was outgunned. I have been surrounded by some of the brightest and most driven minds I have ever met in my life. Some of the things that I've seen some of you achieve blow me away and I couldn't be more proud of all of you. Many of you are in honors, taking up leadership roles in a countless number of groups and organizations all around Iowa City, set up entire seminars to provide education and insight into our career field. Many of you have accepted impressive nursing positions all across the country, and some of you are even going back to school and working to get further degrees, which is just phenomenal. I'm also happy to say that some of you have accepted jobs at UIHC, and I'm very excited to see you guys in a couple of months. You are all so amazing and I know you will all do amazing things. I've learned a lot in nursing school, but if there's one thing I know for certain, it's that if I ever wind up in a hospital and I see one of your faces taking care of me, I know I'll be in the best hands. I'd like to leave you all with just one final thought. Never let anyone tell you that you are just a nurse. You are all so much more than that. You are the hand that helps someone up on their darkest day. You're the reassuring smile that lets the patient know everything will be okay. We are Hawkeye nurses. Never forget that. So, to the May 2021 graduating class of the University of Iowa College of Nursing, congratulations. We made it. Thank you, Christopher. Among the graduates we are recognizing today are those who completed their initial preparation in nursing at a community college and subsequently enrolled at the University of Iowa to pursue a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Speaking on behalf of the May 2021 RN to BSN graduates today is Danielle Yonamura. Danielle graduated from high school in 2013 from North High School in Des Moines. She obtained an associate degree in nursing from Des Moines Area Community College in 2017. 
She enrolled in the RN to BSN program at the University of Iowa in 2019. Danielle is currently employed as a nurse at Planned Parenthood of the North Central States. She also works part-time at Orchard Place in Des Moines, which is a nonprofit organization that provides mental and behavioral health care to Iowa's children and youth. Danielle is a member of both Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and Sigma Theta Tau International Nursing Honor Society. She was honored as a student of the year while in the nursing program at Des Moines Area Community College in 2017. Upon graduation, Danielle will continue in her current roles at Planned Parenthood and Orchard Place, where she takes great pride caring for others and making a positive impact on their lives. Her future plans include pursuing her doctorate of nursing practice in family practice or a health business administration, and she hopes to open her own private practice. Ladies and gentlemen, our RN to BSN class speaker, Danielle Yonamura. Before I get started, I wanted to give a special shout out to the amazing faculty who encouraged, inspired, and guided us along our way, particularly our professors in the RN to BSN program. Brenda Dury, Pat Nelson, Deb Strobel, Molly from El Cooley, I think that's how you pronounce it, Betty Mallon, and last but not least, Cherry Doggett, our academic program management specialist for the RN to BSN program. Each and every one of you have done an amazing job at preparing our future nurses to prosper. We could not have done this without all of you there to provide your wisdom, expertise, and the encouragement we needed to flourish. We also have with us today, our Dean, Julie Zerwick, and the President of the University of Iowa, President Harold. None of this would have been possible without the wonderful institution that you all have made into what it is today and ubiquitously governed. You have helped so many of us to become far from average. Every student here has transpired to be remarkable, all under your sense of discernment and care. And for that, we thank you. Subsequently, I also wanted to say, hi, mom and dad. Look, I'm giving the graduation speech. <laughs> and to all of the rest of my friends and family who are watching this, so, <laughs> To all of the rest of the mothers and fathers listening today in adornment over what your child has accomplished, give yourselves a virtual round of applause for pushing us every step of the way and being there for us when we needed it the most. And this goes out to all of the aunties and uncles and cousins and siblings that took care of us too or whomever it may have been for you. Thank you all, because we could not have done this without you. Now, I just wanted to say, I am overzealous that I was nominated to be my class speaker. And while I still have absolutely no clue why y'all would pick me, I wanna thank you all nonetheless. Mostly because you're crazy for nominating me still, but I'll take it. I have been blessed with good friends, a good family, and a good life. I will always be grateful for what I have because I know what it has been like to have struggled and to have failed, as I'm sure many of you can probably relate to. But I'm thankful for those experiences because it made me stronger in the end. It made me who I am today. When I walk, I walk with my head held high because I know what I am capable of achieving. Because I am proud of me and I am not afraid to show it. Because I came from so little and have created so much for my daughter and I that how could you ever be ungrateful for what you have after you've walked a day in my shoes? I remember when I was 16, I had this, uh, cute little Buick Century 
you know? Um, it was a 94 with the little maroon, it was maroon red, and it had those plushy red seats, you know, to match it. It had no heat and no air. It makes a funny noise when I be driving it. So, you know, I gotta turn off the music a little bit or whatever when I'm driving. That <laughs> way we can like, pretend like it ain't happening. Until it started dying on me in the middle of the road. And you know, then I couldn't ignore it anymore. <laughs> because <laughs> it'd be embarrassing me. Um, so I'd finally have to go and get it fixed, right? But it was the middle of winter. It's beautiful outside, absolutely gorgeous. The trees are covered in snow and I have an open field in front of me covered in a thick blanket of like glistening snowflakes. Everything's sparkling. It's looking like I'm in a field full of a bunch of little like white diamonds, right? and I'm freezing, freezing. <laughs> Curled up under my blankets, trying to stay warm in my old beat up car on the side of some random street. My daughter is asleep in the car in her car seat next to me. But at least like three or four layers of clothes on her, hats, gloves, socks, um, a bunch of blankets, She's all bundled up, you know, in a cute little pink snow coat to top it all off. <laughs> she looks so perfect and innocent and peaceful. And I'm crying. I'm crying so hard looking at my baby girl because I was sad. I was sad that I could not provide my baby with a roof over her head because I kick, got kicked out of, um, you know, wherever I was staying at at the time, again. And I didn't want to go back to a shelter to sleep or have to beg my baby dad to let me stay with him. It felt like everywhere I went, all I ever did was mess things up. I felt so stupid and worthless. Just overall pretty terrible about, my sp <laughs> about myself. Especially as a mom, as a mother. And I had nothing, not even a penny to my name. That day changed my life forever. I had never and never will I ever feel that way again. I had my daughter when I was 14. I was in a toxic, abusive relationship with her dad for a long time. I grew up abused, so it was all I knew, you know, was fighting. That's how my whole family is. And I knew I was different when I realized I ain't wanna be nothing like them. I knew I was gonna be better, that my daughter would have everything she could ever want and need, that I wouldn't be out here strung out on drugs like them or be homeless again. I promised myself that there would never be another day in my life where I would have to go without food again, just to make sure that my baby could eat. And from day one, I always believed in myself, even when no one else did. When I had absolutely nobody by my side except for my baby, when my family told me I'd never amount to anything in my life, that I would be just like my aunties and uncles, in and out of prison their whole life. I worked hard to take myself out of the situation that I was placed in, to become better for me and for my daughter. The only little human I'll ever need in my life. My light in the darkness. My little love bug. My Nana. Mommy loves you, baby. So I stand here today, or rather sit here, I guess, in front of each and every single last one of you to tell you this. If I could do it, the only thing that's stopping you from accomplishing the dreams and the goals that you have set forth for yourself is you. Keep going. Keep taking chances. Keep working harder. Keep pushing yourself to be a better version of yourself today than you were the day before. Live your best life, boo-boo. And most importantly, be happy.
So spend time with your babies and your mothers and your fathers if you can too. There's so much in this world that we often take for granted that we forget how much there is to appreciate. Like the simple things, a roof over your head, clothes on your back, and food on the table. Take a few minutes out of your day to say, I love you to someone. To compliment that woman's cute shoes or bag or whatever. <laughs> to hold someone's hand. To be a shoulder for someone to cry on. Because it's right, you don't know what the next person might be going through. And they might need you right now. The way that I needed someone when it was me going through it. It is our jobs as the nurses of today to make that difference. Whether it's big or small, it is our jobs to heal. And it is our privilege to care. You should all be proud of yourselves today. That was not a small feat that we have accomplished. This is a fundamental stepping stone, a building block in the foundation of the rest of our careers. Today, we are graduates, and every day, we are nurses. You should be proud. Thank you all again for giving me this amazing opportunity to represent our graduating class of May 2021. Now go out there and live your best life, boo-boo. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing please rise? President Harold, these candidates having completed all the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing are recommended to you by the faculty of the College of Nursing for the conferring of this degree. On recommendation of the faculty of the College of Nursing and by the authority vested in me by the State Board of Regents, I confer on each of you the Bachelor degree of Science in Nursing as qualified and designated. The turning of the tassel is the tradition of gesture by which each student signifies passage from degree candidate to graduate. Now, before we recognize each of you individually, please mark your new status as graduates of the University of Iowa College of Nursing by moving the tassel of your cap from the right side to the left. Raina, Catherine, Adams, with highest distinction. Taylor Bardsley. Reese Bereski. Catherine Elizabeth Becker. Sydney Lee Billamack, with highest distinction. Nicole Lynn Blom, with distinction. Madeline Ann Bowden. Carmelinda Marlies Caceres. Emma Caroline Canova. Catherine Pierce Coates. With university honors, with honors in nursing, with highest distinction. Grace Coleman. With highest distinction. Jasmine Leah Cruz. Catherine Suzanne Karen, with highest distinction. Alyssa Davis, with high distinction. Madison Driscoll, with highest distinction. Beriah Jane Forney, with highest distinction. Jocelyn Mackenzie Frost, with highest distinction. Matthew Dean Hayjack, with highest distinction. Dylan John Hartford, with university honors, with honors in nursing, with highest distinction. Kara Ashley Hoy. Maddie Henricks, Sarah Hoffelt, Olivia Michelle Horan, T. 
Taylor Lee Eisenhower Judy A. James Emily Jean Jandeber with University Honors with Highest Distinction Lily M. Joyo Lydia Ruth Kaufman with Distinction McKenna Ray Kephart with University Honors with Honors in Nursing with Highest Distinction Madeline Cheryl Canoner with High Distinction Kristen Elizabeth Kripinski Jacob Lancaster Carolyn B. Latoski Lydia Mabius with Highest Distinction Matthew Christopher Mather with Honors in Nursing with Highest Distinction Julia Noel Matthews with Highest Distinction Brooklyn Ann McKinney with Highest Distinction Anna Elise Melliker with University Honors with High Distinction Megan Mondek Emma Kathleen Mueller Nicole Lynn Nakazel Christopher Kenneth Newman Elizabeth Anna Nigella Sarah Angelina Niesman with High Distinction Hannah Lynn Outhouse Noel De Jesus Palma Jr. Caitlin Joel Faffel with University Honors with Honors in Nursing with Highest Distinction Sarah Marie Potter with University Honors, with Honors in Nursing, with High Distinction. Keely Richards. Caroline Grace Ritchie. Taylor Rizzuto, with High Distinction. Kelly Eilish Roach. Shelby Lynn Rock with highest distinction. Ludney Jones Rosias, with University Honors, with Honors in Nursing. Sarah Elise Rotheim. Ellen Jill Rouse, with Honors in Nursing, with highest distinction. Meredith Audrey Russell, with distinction. Carly M. Scheib, with highest distinction. Jacqueline J.D. Schlatter. Reagan Schneider. Nathan Schultz. Sydney Lynn Schultz. Amber Nicole Sr. Allie Elizabeth Shepherd, Caitlin Rebecca Schilling, Madeline Elizabeth Sobiek, with University Honors, with Honors in Nursing, with High Distinction, Alexis Ann Sorensen, Brooke Stiles. Caitlin Michelle Swanson Gloria Chapchumba Tanui Paige Kristen Taylor Carolyn Coventry Tressler Michael Patrick Utero with highest distinction Madeline Taylor Folk with University Honors, with Honors in Nursing, with High Distinction. 
Shelby Carolyn Watson Kelly Ann Wellman Maria Werner Anderson with University Honors with Honors in Nursing Paxton Joanne Wicks Brooke Marie Willardson with University Honors Ryan Connor Wood with University Honors with Honors in Nursing with High Distinction Danielle Yonamira with Distinction Ariana Catherine Zenz On behalf of the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, let me give my heartfelt congratulations to everyone graduating today. Today is a day for celebration, and we celebrate this moment of achievement that each of you has reached today. The past year has been one like none that any of us have experienced. The pandemic has changed so many things about the way we live our lives. This goes for pursuing higher education as well. It has made things far more challenging for you as you completed your studies, but you have persevered through unprecedented circumstances to achieve your goal of receiving your degree. Commencement is when we fulfill the most crucial mission of higher education, graduating talented people like you who will go on to make a positive impact on our society. Though today's commencement ceremony is not a traditional format, and not what you were expecting when your college career started. This in no way takes away from the tremendous accomplishment of graduating. The common theme of all commencement ceremonies is that we celebrate the value of education and your achievement. As you embark on an exciting new chapter of your life and the many successes that lie ahead of you, take a moment to reflect that you are all now graduates of the University of Iowa one of the great public universities in our country. You should be proud of the people that help support you and help get you to this significant moment as a mom and someone who supported her children and others during their college journey. I can say that they are extremely proud of you. Receiving a degree is one of life's truly great moments. Once again, congratulations to you all the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, is very pleased and proud to call you alumni of the University of Iowa. <laughs>